talking the material conversation of the great family vacations and the great school, the great private school that you go to and, and the boating and all of that, but it's more about the memories and the, and the time that we have as a family because, um, because we work. Mm -hmm. does, does that make sense? Um, yeah, it, it, I, I have that conversation all the time with them, but go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Well, I mean, I started explaining it to Xavier maybe when he was four because he, I was getting those questions from him, yeah. like, why do we have to work in general? Like, why? what's the point of working, pretty much? And it did start with those conversations um, with the checks is what I explained it because I had him open up the mailbox so that he could see when the checks come in the mail yeah. so that he sees the results of our labor. And then it's... I get what you're saying as far as being careful with the materialistic aspect and explaining it to him because like when we were in Animal Kingdom and it was so beautiful to be able to see the giraffe just walk up to us in person and my husband, he's much better in always explaining, hey, you know, this is fr the fruits of our labor, what we're doing, right. this is why you get to see all this. Because it's it's easier to relate to, you know what I mean? Right. It's just, they're at that age, so it's like explaining it to them so that they understand. So sometimes when Xavier... Um, wants that particular toy when we're in Target or if we're walking by the toy store right there by where we live and I'm not going to say yes every time. So I'm like, no, mommy needs to wait for her check in the mail. And so that's how I explain it to him. He understands till I get the check and just because I have the money, it doesn't mean you deserve it. Right. And I also exactly. put it in perspective for him too. I go, Zay, right. mommy doesn't do her homework. She doesn't get a check in the mail either. If right. mommy is play, play, play all the time with Xavier <laughs> or Zaki, I am not going to get a check in the mail because then I am not, I mean, I don't want to make you feel guilty. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's right. also like just in general, if mommy's out there playing with her friends or if she's out there playing all the time and having date nights with daddy, I'm not getting stuff done either. And also, again, and I started showing him, I took him to the bank and he opened up a bank account and I made him carry his piggy bank, all four of them, because he loves to collect piggy banks, like <laughs> one. And I, and that lady looked at that piggy bank. I'm like, yes, we're counting all the pennies in front of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why the bank? So I had explained to him the whole bank system too. So I figured by him being able to go through the process of taking his piggy bank, opening it with the lady, counting the monies with her, and then going through the process of getting it deposited, and he had to stand in line and get his uh, deposit slip, then he understands how everything started to flow. So, And then the dynamics of it, too, that if I'm not keeping up with my responsibilities, that we don't get clients. So Right, and then you're not going to you're not gonna be able to work to mm -hmm. be able to provide for those things and so he's not going to ask that question anymore which yep. will in turn alleviate a little bit of your guilt. Yeah. I think another another important um, note to make that I've noticed as well in working with other mom entrepreneurs is that um, my husband gets home, my husband is not an entrepreneur, he works in corporate America, he comes home and does not look at his phone or his computer at all because he doesn't mm -hmm. have to. His, his day does not revolve around the children the way that mine does. And, I mean, you're talking about a gem of a man that I am married to, okay? Mm -hmm. you, you don't get better than my husband. But <laughs> I still, think I have to argue with you then. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I have to be careful with that because some people are going to come and try to steal him from me. <laughs> um, but, but the point is that I realized, you know, Stella, going back to your point of why your kids are asking this question, I realized that what was happening was because I'm the one with a flexible schedule, uh -huh. the, the, the family time is eating away at my quote-unquote eight-hour day. Yes. So unfortunately, there are times that my children have to see me working yes. at eight o'clock at night right before bed. So I quickly realized, okay, it's it not necessarily is about time management. It's about having the conversation with them. And again, my kids are six and eight. So I can have these types of conversations with them where I say, I pick you guys up and I take you to practice. And during that time, there's things going on. Bring this yeah. conversation back to getting over the guilt. And maybe we can close today's episode with one tip from each of us of, you know, all of the, the working moms and mom entrepreneurs listening to us today. Um, maybe if we can um, concisely give one tip, one takeaway point that, that could really contribute to all of our viewers getting over the guilt. So who'd, who'd like to go first? I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to reiterate what I've already said. If you're feeling really burdened with a level of guilt that is making you so happy, please evaluate why and try and combat the, the problems. Exactly. 
Yeah, and you were you. I said my my tip earlier, but um, for me it was just um, I think it was the whole compensation aspect of it, where I know that uh, I'm at peace with my with I'm at peace with what's happening because of my my time that I the, the time that I do spend with my kids, and then if something were to come up that I have no control over the scheduling on that end, like if it's a carnival or if it's a trikathon or something, I I just can't make that adjustment or the adjustment on my schedule then you know we had the the troop of fans <laughs> to be there and feel supportive of it and he was at peace with it because right. because um, I'm always there for him and and for me ladies I would just like to reiterate to put it in perspective you know the fact that if you're not if you're not curing cancer or you're not developing the latest technology to change the world mm -hmm. it's not the end of the world and I think again a lot of the guilt is self-imposed and we worry too much about people's perception of us and there there is no formula for being a good mom a good wife and a good uh, entrepreneur or or a good worker I think that it's it's about putting in perspective and doing what's right for you for your marriage and uh, and your family so, so with that, I'd like to close this episode. We, I really hope that the conversation that the three of us have had today has helped you, uh, all of our viewers, get over the guilt. Till next time. <laughs> Bye.